It's Frontier Conference basketball from the opening tip-off to the final buzzer. Twelve of the best teams in the NAIA. Six men, six women, all fighting the right to represent at a national tournament. We bring you all the action from the Pacific Steel Four Scenes Arena right here in Great Falls. Our games are brought to you in part by First Interstate Bank, BSN Sports, Pepsi, Nike, the Gibson Hotel in Great Falls, McDonald's throughout the state of Montana, D.A. Davidson, Independence Bank, Logan Health, Conferro Sports Foundation, Clark and Louis, Northwest Energy, and Irk Hotels throughout the state. Hey, if you're ready, it is time. Set back and enjoy the call as it's time for Frontier Conference Basketball, and we're bringing it to you right now. Ready to unleash your awesome? Then you need 8 gig all fiber internet from TDS. You'll have the powerful internet you need to stream, game, learn, and work today, and be prepared to take on anything new you can dream up tomorrow. Imagine internet you'll never outgrow. Get 8 gig all fiber internet from TDS and embrace infinite possibility. At the University of Providence, we believe college is more than a collection of buildings, or a lecture, or a test, or even a degree. College is about connecting to something greater than yourself. The University of Providence is a private Roman Catholic liberal arts university founded in 1932 by the Sisters of Providence. And we continue to honor their vision by providing students with an education that goes beyond the classroom. An education grounded in our mission of connecting people. Connecting people with their communities, with one another, with the environment, with opportunities, with their spiritual journey, and most importantly, connecting people with their potential. The University of Providence. For more than 85 years, DA Davidson has strived to build relationships and trust from our first office in Montana to each of our 70 locations spread out coast to coast. We're on the ground and in your neighborhood, combining the values of a local partner with the capabilities of a national institution. We achieve strong outcomes based on mutual success, planning for future generations and building legacies that endure together. Energy, Pepsi, and Opportunity Bank. Tyler Phillips will be one of the referees out there, and the last one is going to be Ryan Olson. Baker Bob's on the PA over there. Now they're going to do some. Uh, oh. 
Oh, they do the championship character. They're going to pick one off of each team. That uh, shows all the uh, – actually, it's a sportsmanship award is really what it is. They back, give back to the community. It's a big award to give for each one of these teams. Handing the trophies out is going to be Scott. And Scott is the new commissioner of the Frontier Conference this year. He came here, I think he came up out of Kansas and uh, done a fine job for the conference this year. And they're going to give that. Yeah, they wish they'd take their, they have their warm-ups on. I don't know who they are, but uh, congratulations, both those young men. It's quite an honor uh, to be champion of character in the Frontier Conference. Uh, Scott's going to hand them their awards. They're going to get a picture taken. And then we get on with the player introduction between these two squads that know each other so well. Because there's only six teams in the league, they play each other three times. It's hard to play a good team three times. And, you know, all these teams are good. I mean, I've, I've watched a lot of basketball over the years. I spend most of my time doing high school basketball, double A at CMR. Then I do all these uh, northern tournaments between the 8th C and the northern C. And only the very, very best of those uh, players coming out of those conferences can play in the Frontier Conference. Uh, just to give you a level of uh, uh, talent that they have in this conference, and they're, they're loaded. As I say, you take, you take uh, Tech on the boys' side, Carroll on the women's side out of the mix, the other five teams on any given night. On any given night, they can beat each other. So it's uh, always a lot of fun to, to watch and, and call these ball games because they're always good. They're always tight. So because uh, Rocky's here in their uniform, traveling uniforms, they're the visitors, so we're going to introduce the visitors first, and we'll get them until we come out on the floor. Of course, Coach Bill, Tri Bill Dreykosen, he's in his 24th season. He's got a national championship there at Rocky. Uh, excellent coach. I don't know how much longer he's going to keep it up, but they're lucky to have him. Luca Burks, he's going to be one of the starters. He's a guard. He's six foot. He's out of Upton, Wyoming. Another starter is going to be number two. And that's going to be Cade Tyson. He's a guard, five foot ten. He's a junior out of Billings West High School. And speaking of Billings West High School, here comes Jesse Owens. He's a five nine guard, 165 pounds, and uh, excellent ball player for these guys. And uh, of course, he actually started with the Grizzlies on a football scholarship, and then he decided he wanted to play basketball. So here he ends up back hometown at Rocky. And now they're going to bring the big guys out. First one, they're going to bring out. Is wearing number 24, and he is going to be Kale Robinson. Kale, he's six foot seven. He's out of Hamilton, New Zealand. So they got an international flavor to this team. The other starter they're going to have is going to be AJ Wilson. He's six foot two. He's a junior guard out of Miami Gardens, Florida. And now for your hometown argue Argos for Coach J.C. Isaacson. He's going to put the following starters out there. Wearing number one, that's Jalen Reed. He's a six five guard, and he's out of. Senior out of Lodi, California. And now their number one scorer, all around ball player, Davian Harris Williams. All conference last year. He's a six footer. He's a senior out of Tacoma, Washington. They're also going to start number 23. That's going to be Davon Burton. Davon's a forward. He's 6'5. He's a senior out of Houston, Texas. And now the local flavor. Coming on the floor is number 24, Sam Vining. He's a 6'2 guard. He's out of Great Falls, CMR High School. And he'll be running with his CMR buddy. Another wrestler out there, number 33. That's Jake Olson, 6'5". And he, like I say, played for CMR. He is a senior now on this team. And uh, plays very, very well for a guy that gives up a lot of size in that center position. I watched him play against uh, uh, College of Idaho when they came into town right earlier this year, the number one team in the nation of the NAIA. And they were 7 foot 6, 11, 6, 8, 6, 8, 6, 7. Sam was about the eighth tallest guy on the floor. And he held up fairly well. So we're looking for a good ball game here today from these Argos. They're wearing their home whites. And the ball's in the air. And it's going to be held and tipped by the Rocky Mountain Bears. And they're going to start off. And they're going to be working left to right on your radio dial with the ball moving in the front court. And they get the ball down in the corner. Look at the ball inside. That's going to be Kale Robinson. He's their leading scorer. He get the ball trying to work his way inside against Jake Olsen. Jake does a nice job pushing the ball back out. But they get the ball in the hands of... A.J. Wilson, he's got a three-pointer up and in, and here comes Harris Williams into the front court. He's going to be guarded out there by, it looks like a little zone defense going on down there. There's Williams, head of the key. That's going to be Burton, Burton, left-hand side to Reed. Reed looking inside, trying to get Olsen. Ball gets swatted away, coming out of there with it. It is going to be Jesse Owens. Into the front court comes Rocky. 
to get the ball to Owens. He's going to take it inside. Kicks the ball baseline. That's Robinson. His shot's no good. Defended there well by Olsen. Coming out of there with a rebound. He's going to be Reed. He's on the right-hand side. Gets the ball. Head of the key now to Harris Burton. Harris Williams, excuse me. He's on the dribble. He wants to go on the right-hand side. Nobody's guarding down on the basket. Got shut up there. Up and in. That's going to be Burton. Javon Burton. Beautiful entry pass that time by Harris Williams. And now it's 3-2. to two. Rocky with the lead. Tyson with the ball. Cade's going to go left. They're going to try to pick off Burton. He gets the ball down to the baseline. He's still on him. He goes out ahead of the key. That's going to be in the hands of Owens. Owens gets the ball to Robinson. Robinson loses control of it. Coming out of the way, it's going to be Olsen for the Argos. Gets the ball in the hands of Reed. Reed's down. Got a lap up. It's no good, but Reed's fouled in the act of shooting. He's going to go to the free throw line. First foul of the ball game, and that's going to go against Jesse Owens. His first. And Reed goes to the free throw line. Jalen, 6'5", senior. He's out of Lodi, California. Doesn't want this to be his last game. And he's got a nice high arcer in there. It's good. We're all not at threes. 18.32 to play. We're just underway. First half. Second game of the Frontier Conference playoffs. Argos and the Bears. Old foes from way back. This one's on the way as well. And it's good. Nice job at the free throw line by Jalen. And now a little full court pressure, but it's just man to man. They're going to back off there and bring in the front court. It's going to be Tyson. Tyson drops the ball off to Robinson. Robinson at the head of the key. Guarded by Olsen. Drops it to Owens. Owens being dribbled. Now Olsen's on him. Now they go right hand side. Brooks, he's got a shot up. It's no good. Olsen gets the rebound. He gets the ball to Reed. Reed's going to bring in the front court. Working over here on the left hand side. Harris Williams sets him a pick. Now he's in the paint and he might have taken a step. Crowd wanted it. Didn't get it. Harris Williams, head of the key. Drops it to Olsen. Olsen Turns, looks inside, nothing there, goes back to Harris Williams. A little give and go, the give was there, the go is not. And now it's going to be Williams, Harris Williams, head of the key, stops, pops. No, they drop the ball out to Reed, Reed on this side to Sam Vining. He's a shooter, he's got a three-pointer on the way. It is good, Sam Vining. Shot his way to the state championship when he's at CMR. Hasn't lost that touch. And now it's 7-3 Argos. And there's Robinson, takes the ball inside, good job by Olsen. Uh, They're going to say it's a foul on Olsen. And Jake's got to be careful. He tends to get in foul trouble. Argos are a much better team, and he can be on the floor. They say he was on the floor. It's not a shooting foul. And it's going to be bear ball out baseline. And they're looking for something inside. They're going to have to go clear out here on this side. Get the ball to Brooks. Brooks. And they're going to take it by Olsen. No, they're not. Olsen swats it out of there again. Jake playing the good defense. Harris Williams with it. Reed now, head of the key, working on the right-hand side. Defense cuts him off there. Drops it off to Harris Williams. Harris Williams is going to set up the offense. Head of the key. And they got a guy at the high post. Coach is calling it out. And they go on the left-hand side. Reedy's got a three-pointer from the wing. It's no good. Rebound comes off. Robinson's got it for the Bears. And he'll bring it in the front court himself. Kale on the dribble. Jake's got him there. He's going to go right by Jake. He's got a layup, and he misses it. Rebound comes off. Owens has got it. Turns, looks, nothing there. Now he takes it out on the sideline. they got a three-pointer put up over there. Shooting that ball was going to be Wilson. It's no good. Harris Williams got the rebound, and the Argos are in the front court. Harris Williams, a little stop, goes in the key. There's some biting. He's got a long three-pointer on the way. It's off the rim. No good. Rebound comes off. Owens has got it for the Bears. And down, down three to seven. Owens is in the front court. Harris Williams picks him up there. He tries to go around him. Can't get her done. Stops. Shoots a little fade away, and it's good. But Owens, he's quite the athlete. He was a football player for the Bears when he was at Weston. Got that football scholarship and decided, I'd rather play basketball. So here he is playing for Rocky, and he's a good one. There's Jake Olson. Looks underneath. He's got a beautiful pass inside there to... Burton and Jay Vaughn's got a basket. Nice assist by Jake Olson. And now up and down five to nine in the front court. Here comes Tyson. Tyson right side. Robinson. Robinson's gonna shoot over the top of Jake. That doesn't work. Coming out of the rebound is gonna be Vining. Vining gets it to Harris Williams. And the Argos are back on the attack. And they're in the front court. That's a zone defense are up against down there as they go deep in the corner. Jay Vaughn's got another three. This one's up and this one's good. Javon Burton. Now it's 12-5 Argos. Big leads don't mean anything in this league. Everybody scores in spurts. Nobody's ever really out of it. Tyson gets the ball down and gets the ball, hands it off there to Brooks. Brooks, he goes baseline. His shot's no good. Reed's got the rebound coming out of there with it. It's going to be Harris Williams. He's in the front court. Owens picks him up there. He tries to throw over the top. Nice defense being played by Brooks. Brooks has got a steal. He brings in the front court, coming over here on the right-hand side. Tyson fakes a shot. Now he's got a three-pointer on the way. It's off the front of the rim, no good. Long rebound comes off, and Harris Williams has got it. 
He's going to slow things down. 15-20 to play first half. And they're going to slow down while he ties his shoe. We got Javon just dribbling out here. That zone doesn't come out to get him now. Harris Williams with two tied shoes. Here we go, right-hand side. That's going to be Reed. Reed, cross-court pass to Viney. They're on Sam. He picks up his dribble, goes to Jake. Jake spins, looks inside, and nothing there, but he goes try to go baseline, and the ball gets swatted around. Coming out of there is going to be Robinson. Robinson has got Jake in front of him. He has to pull up his dribble on this end of the floor, deep in the corner, going for a three-point in the corner. Up and in. Beautiful shot there by Luca Brooks. Cuts that lead at 8-12, to 12, and now the R goes up four. In the front court comes Harris Williams. Harris Williams is going up against that zone defense. It goes to Jake on the baseline. Jake, he's going to take it inside. He's got a little two-footer. Shots no good, but we have a foul off ball anyway. That wouldn't have counted even if they made it. Still should have made it. That's only a two-footer, Jake. And they're going to be a foul. That's going to be the first one. Well, they, they, they call it on. They haven't called on anybody. They haven't put a number up there on the board. Well, they gave it to Jake. They called that the second foul on Jake. Boy, I didn't see it. He's going to go to the bench. And coming on in his place is going to be Sam Norm. Sam, he's a center. He's a seven-footer out of Helena, Montana, just a junior. And now here comes Rocky into the front court, and they're having trouble controlling the ball, but finally Owens has got it. Owens kind of worked away ahead of the key. Norm comes out to get him, and nobody's guarding underneath the basket. Wide open layup, up and in by Case Kitchell. Case is a 6'8 senior out of Walton, Indiana. And now they're only down two. Front court vining. Now Harris Williams, head of the key. Drops the ball off to Reed. Now we're dividing. He's got a three point on the side. It's up and good. You better find Sam if you're playing defense down there. He's got two three putters in the ball game. Now the R goes by five. Robinson, he's going to try to take Reed inside. And he does, uh, what's the way, get away with a little traveling. Gets the ball to Brooks. Brooks now, head of the key to Owens. Owens. Trying to get free out there at the head of the key. They're setting some picks. Trying to get the ball over the sideline. They're going to launch a three from out there. It's off the front of the rim. No good. That was Brooks that shot it. Long rebound comes out. And Owens gets it. Owens. He's dribbling there. They're going to drop it to Robinson. He's got a three-pointer from the head of the key. That's no good. Norm kind of has a rebound. Kind of doesn't. Now he does. Gets the ball to Binding. Binding to Harris Williams. Harris Williams is going to bring it in the front court. They're going to stop him there at the head of the key. He's going to work his way off the left-hand side. And looking for a cutter. Also out there. That was going to be Milner out there. Eric. And he thought he was open, but he wasn't. Then Harris Williams. Harris Williams there. Now it's Milner, Milner, same play. He's got the ball inside. They're going to surround him. Head of the key now. Reed. Reed gets the ball stripped by Owens. Owens bringing Binding down the floor. K.O. Robinson. He's got a shot up. It's good. Nice fast break. Got the turnover by the Bears. And now Harris Williams with the dribble on the right-hand side of the floor. He's down there at the free throw line. Extended up three. Gives a beautiful shot inside. And he drains it. Nice take to the hole by David Harris Williams. He's so tough with that ball. Stops and goes. Now with 12.49 to play here in the first half. Argo 17. Bears 12. Why don't we go and take a timeout? Imagine it be a full timeout. We're at the media point. We'll be back in one minute. My name is Matt Allen. I'm the director of admissions at the University of Montana Western. Montana Western is the only U.S. public institution uh, in the country that operates on a block scheduling model called Experience One. Instead of your semester looking like this in a traditional system, the block schedule at Montana Western looks like this. This innovative approach allows students to really focus on that one homework area, have one final, uh, communicate with one professor. Uh, more importantly, there's one professor communicating with that class. The big difference between Montana Western and other institutions is that our students typically have two to three years of experience in their field of study. And it's experience that employers and grad schools are looking for. And like I said, it's experience that a lot of college students don't typically have at that point in time in their academic career. Student success is our top priority. So our faculty and staff are here to help students through their entire student experience. We invite you to stay at one of the newest hotels in Great Falls. Warm, friendly atmosphere and a friendly staff that's ready to assist you in your every need. When you check in, this is the kind of room you will receive. Clean and comfortable where you get wonderful breakfast and how about a nice glass of wine upon your check-in. Easy check-in with your professional team to assist you. Make your next reservation at the Gibson, downtown Great Falls. We invite you to stay at one of the newest hotels in Great Falls. For granted, neither is anybody else. 
They got the lead, but Rocky's got the ball, and they're going to bring it to the front court. Milner being a pest as they get in the front court. That's going to be Tyson. Tyson at the head of the key now. Milner still on him. Wants to work over here on the right-hand side. That's Robinson. Robinson looking inside for something, anything. You're going to try to set a pick. That's Kitchell comes out, sets a pick, but it doesn't work. Norm, the seven-footer, goes out on him, and he gets his back inside, but he's going to foul him. Norm's going to pick up his first foul of the ball game, And that's going to send the Rocky to the free throw line. And Norm's got to be careful because he tends to get in foul trouble as well. Going to the free throw line, that's going to be Kale Robinson. He's a 6'7 junior out of Hamilton, New Zealand. And that one rattles out no good. Coach Wright goes over there barking out orders to his Bears. And the second free throw is on the way, and that one's good. And now it's a four-point Argo lead. Reed to Milner, and Milner will bring to the front court. Still that zone defense being played down there by the Bears as they want to work on the right-hand side. Milner on the dribble. Now Harris Williams at the head of the key. Norm tries to set a pick for him. That doesn't work. It goes to Reed. Free throw line extended. He's going to try to take it inside. Kicks in the corner. Milner, head fake. Gets the defense in the air. A little 10-footer. Up and in. And Eric Milner. He gets his first basket of the ball game. And it comes at the 12-minute mark. And now Tyson with Milner on him. Gets the ball in the front court. Looking at the one left-hand side. That's where he's going to go to Robinson. Robinson, he's going to go baseline. Milner steps in front of him to cut him off. And he tried to get something in there. Nothing happened. But he gets the ball into Kittner. He's got a shot up no good. Rebound comes off. Harris Williams got it. He's tied up with it, though. Who's else is on it? Number five's out there for Rocky. That's A.J. Wilson. And a jump ball situation. Possession arrow favors the Argos. Multiple substitutions coming on the floor, and I missed most of them. Well, look, we got another CMR grad coming on the floor. Coming on the floor. He's going to be wearing number zero, and that's Caleb Carrington. He also played guard for CMR, and he's going to bring in the front court. He's going to take over the point. And he goes to the right-hand side. Harris Williams, head of the key. Norm sets a pick. He's got a three-pointer on the way. Off the front of the rim, no good. Norm, but that's the ball to Milner. Milner turns, looks, nothing there. Harris Williams at the head of the key again. Clears out. Now Milner. He's going to take the ball in the paint. Defense comes and collapses on him. Working in from the backside and almost swatting it away. Moves to Harris Williams. A little spin shot inside. Fouled in the act of shooting. And Javon's going to go to the free throw line. Excuse me, Davin's going to go to the free throw line. And, of course, Dry Cozen doesn't like any foul that goes against Rocky. So he's going to be over there and argue it. <laughs> he's fun to watch. He's one of those coaches just, I'd pay admission to come watch Bill Dry Cozen coach. He's very animated. Free throw line. Davian Harris-Williams free throws up good. And now it's a six-point lead at the 11-18 mark. And the seniors got one more coming. Speaking of players that don't want this to be their last game. Davian's been our best player for the last two years. I'd like to see him play some more. They list him as six foot. When I was standing talking in the hallway the other day, I'm only 5'9", and I was almost eye to eye with him, so I say six is a stretch. And here comes Tyson into the front court. Gets by Milner. Milner, but Milner catches up to him and forces him back to the head of the key. They're trying to get the ball to Owens. They can't get her done. Now Tyson takes it inside. He's got that seven-footer in front of him. Now there's Owens. Three-pointer head of the key. And they're going to say that it was blocked. The referee said, no, it wasn't. It's going to go out of bounds. <laughs> Ryke Hosen from 80 feet away, he saw the block. He's going to work the referee over pretty good as he goes by him. But the ball's going to go back over to Argos, up 21-13. Front court, that's going to be Milner. Milner, Terrace Williams, head of the key, tried to take in the paint. Kicks in the corner. Carrington, he'll launch a three from there. Caleb's got his first basket, and it's worth three. And now it's an 11-point Argo lead. Bringing the front court, it's going to be Brooks. Brooks spins around, he's going to stop. Shoot, shoot, run from there. It's no good. Rebound comes off. And they're going to call Norm on the back. He picks up his second foul. That's the last thing the Argos needed. They already got Jay Colson sitting over the bench with his two fouls. And substitute coming in, but it won't be for Norm. It's going to be Robinson coming back on the floor. Going to the bench. It's going to be Kitchell. And now the numbers are right. Baseline, Tyson looking to throw it in. And they get the ball to Robinson. Robinson being guarded by Norm. They'd love to get a third foul on him. So they go back the corner to Tyson. Now head of the key, Owens. Owens on the dribble. Gets by Norm. He's got a shot up there, but not before Norm fouls him on the hand. And Norm got his third foul. They couldn't get him off the floor fast enough. Coach Isaacson had, his, had one waiting on the bench over there, but he got that third foul before he could do anything with it. Jesse Owens is going to go to the free throw line. 
He's a junior. He's out of Billings West. When he played ball there, he was all state, both sides of the ball, I think, in football. All state in basketball as well. He's quite the athlete. And Norm's going to take his three fouls to the bench coming on his place. It's going to be Javon Burton. So now we've got Burton and Reed underneath the basket. There are our two tallest players out there. Second free throws on the way. It's good as well. And now it's a nine-point Argo lead. 10-25 to play. Carrington with the ball. And he's in the front court now. Looks like they're going to play man-to-man down on that end of the floor now. And Carrington on the dribble. Works the left-hand side. That's Harris Williams. He's trying to get a pick there. He gets it. And he looks to get the ball inside. Can't happen. Milner ahead of the key. Milner working over the right-hand side. Drops to Carrington. He's going to launch a three from that side. And that one's good. Caleb, he's got two threes off the bench. And that's two threes by Sam Vinings. Wrestler's got four three-pointers here for the Argos so far. And now ahead of the key is going to be Brooks. Brooks gets the ball off. Hand off inside. Putting the ball up in there is going to be Wilson. Loses control of the ball. He thought he was fouled. The Argos said, no, you weren't. And the referee said, no, you weren't as well. He just lost it as he went up for the re- for the layup, and it comes back over to the Argos. Up 12 at 9.47 to play here in the first half. Harris Williams slowly brings it in the front court. Tyson's going to pick him up there. And he's looking over the right-hand side. There's Carrington again. Carrington with Owens on him. Gets the ball down inside. That's going to be in the hands of Burton. Burton, a little spin move inside. Got up and under from the backside. Harris Williams got the rebound. Giving up a lot of size inside. He puts his shot up. It's no good. Ball gets knocked out of bounds. They're going to say it's off of Robinson. And it'll be Argo ball baseline. Harris Williams to take it out. Crosses his arms above his head. Whatever play that is, we'll find out right here. It's thrown over the top to Reed. Reed looks at the three. He can't get it off, so he goes back to Harris Williams. Harris Williams can take it across the top. Stop ahead of the key. Tries to throw it inside. Good defense being played in there. And coming out of there with it is going to be Brooks. And he goes over the left-hand side to Owens. Owens loses control of the ball. Good defense by Owens, or excuse me, by Harris Williams as he gets a steal right back. And now we roll under nine minutes to play in the first half. Harris Williams, he's at the head of the key with Owens on him. He wants to go left side, or excuse me, right side to Milner. Going to set a pick on him, see if he can free him up. He's at the head of the key. And he throws the ball over the top to nobody, trying to get a lob pass in there to Javon Burton. But that wasn't going to happen. I think Javon got tied up with whoever was guarding him, and he just couldn't get to the spot. Goes back over now to Tyson. And Tyson will bring it in the front court. And waiting for him at the head of the front of the key is going to be Harris Williams. Gets the ball down. Robinson. Robinson trying to bump his way inside. He does. Shots up. That's good. Hale Robinson. Nothing much you can do when he gets the ball down that low. Nice little. That well, wasn't really a hook shot, but he had his body between him and the defender. Nothing the defender could do. Milner now. He's on the far side on the dribble. Up 10. They get the ball to Harris Williams. Harris Williams going to take it in the paint. Stops. Looks around. Nothing in there. He better get rid of it. And he gets knocked out of bounds. And the ref says, no, he got fouled. Foul's going to go against Rocky. He's going to send Harris Williams to the free throw line. Davian. He's got four points in the ball game so far. Leading scorer by far for the Argos this year. Free throws up, free throws good. And now Jake Holes is going to come back on. And going to the bench is going to be Burton. Jake's going to not go inside. They're going to keep him outside for this second free throw. And Davian's going to launch this one. And he's got such a nice shot. Up and in. Back to that 12-point lead again. 8-16 to play as Rocky gets the ball. Tyson being guarded by Milner. He's going to bring it in the front court on the left-hand side. Milner's right in his grill. Now he's on the right-hand dribble. Goes left-hand side. And that's Robinson. Robinson guarded by Jake Olson. They're going to probably take it down to Jake. See if they can get another foul on him. Said he goes to Tyson. Tyson's at the head of the key. Nothing to do there. Gets the ball in the hands of Brooks. Brooks got a shot up in the Kale Robinson. Nice pass to Kale. And Kale gets a dunk. Nice assist that time by Brooks getting an easy slam for Kale Robinson. And now it's going to be the Argos. But the ball is going to be Reed, Reed. And they're going to call a blocking foul. It's going to go against the Rocky. And that's going to be their fifth top foul. So it's not a shooting foul yet. And picking up that first foul is going to be A.J. Wilson, Davian Williams to throw it out from the baseline. They got in the box over here on the right-hand side. Set some picks. Can they get somebody inside? And uh, try to get Jake, and they do get it inside there. Jake gets fouled. 
And it's going to go right out of the baseline again for the Argos. And they're going to call that foul on Luke Brooks, his first of the ball game. Both teams have five on them now. They get the ball into Olsen. Olsen, head of the key. That's going to be Reed, deep in the corner. Harris Williams, head fakes, gets in the air, takes it inside to Olsen. Olsen's got a lap. Beautiful pass by Harris Williams. Give Jake an easy basket. And now it's 31 19, 14 point lead. Excuse me. It's back that 12 point lead they've been maintaining here for quite a while. Robinson with the ball. Olsen on him. Has to pick up his dribble. Good defense by Jake. And now the Tyson. Tyson with Milner on him. He has to pick up his dribble. And we're back to Robinson against Olsen again. Takes the ball inside. Olsen doesn't follow him. Shot's no good. Coming out of there with a rebound is going to be Jalen Reed. In the front court. Again, baseline shot to Milner. He's got fouled in the act of shooting. And he hits the floor really hard. But Eric's going to go to the free throw line if he gets up off the floor. He got hammered on that layup. Acts a little sore. I don't blame him. He hit the floor really hard. 7 2 to play, first half. Miller goes to the line, second, third foul. <clears throat> Called on Cade Tyson. <clears throat> and Miller's at the free throw line, shooting two, and his first free throws up, and it's no good. And the senior guard, 6 3 guard, has got one more coming. And coming off the bench now, that's going to be Freddie Brown, the third. He comes on. Vining's going to wait, but he's coming on for the shooter. Freddie Brown, the third. He's 6'3". He, senior, he's out of Seattle, Washington. His granddad, second free throw is good, was downtown Freddie Brown. Played for the Supersonics back in the day. And now with the Argos up 32-19 to and 7.02 to play, we're going to have a timeout on the floor. It's going to be a 30-second timeout. So why don't we take a break for 30 seconds? We'll be back. KQDI, 1450 AM. Passion. It's what drives us. When you get your hands on something that you're passionate about, there's nothing else like it. That's the value of hands-on learning. So whether your passion is painting or plumbing, engines or engineering, if you're ready to turn your passion into a profession, find us at MSU Northern. Well, the Argos are up 13 points with 7.02 to play here in the first half. This game's not over by a long shot as all these Frontier teams can score in bunches. And here comes Rocky to try to do that right now. And it's going to be Jesse Owens. He blows right by Currington. Currington gets a foul. And that's going to be the 16 foul on the Argos. So they had one to give. It's going to be Rocky Ball right over there at the sideline. And we have a whistle. Everybody's heading back over their benches again. We can have another timeout here? I believe we are. So why don't we go ahead and have it? Are you ready to unleash your awesome? Then you need 8 gig all fiber internet from TDS. You'll have the powerful internet you need to stream, game, learn, and work today, and be prepared to take on anything new you can dream up tomorrow. Imagine internet you'll never outgrow. Get 8 gig all fiber internet from TDS and embrace infinite possibility. My name is Matt Allen. I'm the Director of Admissions at the University of Montana Western. Montana Western is the only U.S. public institution uh, in the country that operates on a block scheduling model called Experience One. Instead of your semester looking like this in a traditional system, the block schedule at Montana Western looks like this. This innovative approach allows students to really focus on that one homework area, have one final, uh, communicate with one professor. Uh, more importantly, there's one professor communicating with that class. The big difference between Montana Western and other institutions is that our students typically have two to three years of experience in their field of study. And it's experience that employers and grad schools are looking for. And like I said, it's experience that a lot of college students don't typically have at that point in time in their academic career. Student success is our top priority. So our faculty and staff are here to help students through their entire student experience. Eight C is going to be back in Great Falls. So if you can't get enough basketball, <laughs> I don't know what more I can do for you. A lot of ball being played here in Great Falls. And speaking of ball, here they come. It's going to be Rocky. They're on the attack. That's Owens. Owens going to be picked up by Vining at the head of the key. Got some foot speed on Vining. Vining reaches, though. And he's going to get a foul. That's going to send Olsen to the free throw line. Owens, excuse me, to the free throw line. He gets up a little hitch his get-along. He hit the floor hard. Sam Vining, that's his first foul in the ballgame. 
Owens now to the free throw line. He's got four in the ball game. And the 5'9 junior's got this one on the way, and it's good. He's a great athlete. Yes, he is. Had a nice article on him on uh, Montana 406 Sports this last week. Get a chance to read it, yada. And he makes the second free throw, and now it's an 11-point lead. And with the ball, bringing to the front court. That's going to be Jalen Reed. He's working here on the left-hand side. Robinson's got him. He goes right by Robinson. Gets himself inside. He puts a shot up. Somehow it stays out of there. Rolled all the way around the rim. We have a tie-up for the rebound. Possession arrow faces the Bears, and so Rocky's going to get it. That shot by Jalen, I don't know how it stayed out. It was up on that rim for a full second before it fell out. And now down 11, here comes the Bears. Owens, he's going to bring the ball in the front court, guarded by Carrington. He's at the head of the key. They're going to try to pick him off, give Owens a shot there. Now Vining's got him. Vining's going to step out, guard that three. He didn't step out enough. Jesse nails it. And now it's an eight-point game with 6.15 to play. Jesse Owens, beautiful shot at the head of the key. Vining did all he could to stop it. And now head of the key on this end of the floor. That's going to be Burton. Burton gets the Vining. Vining tries to take it inside. Picks up his dribble there. They're on him. Nobody's over here guarding Reed, however. He's got a three on the way. It's no good. Burton gets a rebound. But they're going to say he was shoving and pushing his way to get it. And we're going to walk all the way down to the other end of the floor. And the Bears are going to go back to the free throw line. Burton didn't like the call. Olsen comes back on. Harris Williams comes back on. Carrington to the bench. Freddie Brown to the bench to the free throw line. It's going to be A.J. Wilson. He'll be shooting a one and one here. You don't see much of those anymore. You've got to make the first one to get the second one. They've taken that out of the high school game and the girls game. They No more knee knockers. They shoot free throws there. You're shooting two. First one's on the way, and it's no good. He won't get the second. Olsen gets the rebound. He gets the ball to Reed, and Reed will bring it in the front court on the right-hand side. Harris Williams, he's back out there with the ball. Head of the key, stops, looks at it. Nobody's on him. He'll shoot it. He'll make it. And I think they're going to say it was only worth two. And it was. He was inside that three-point line. And here comes Owens into the front court. Reed's going to guard him. They're going to try to set a pick, get him off. Owens. Now he's got Olsen on him. Beautiful pass underneath to Robinson. Assist. Owens, basket. Robinson. Nice looking play by the Bears. And now Harris Williams. Up eight. He's in the front court. Gets Olsen down on the baseline. Olsen, cross-court pass over to Reed. Reed, ball above his head, head of the key, binding. And there's Burton. He's at the free throw line. Now he goes to Olsen on the base. Olsen shots up. It's no good. And he's on the back on the rebound. And that turned out to be a disaster for Jake. He missed the easy shot. Picks up his third foul on the rebound. And that's going to send the Bears back down here to shoot free throws. And Olsen to the bench as Milner comes on in his place. And that wasn't good for Jake at all. He got Robinson to the free throw line. At the line Kale. Kale. He's got nine points in the ball game. And he misses the free throw. I think he's 0 for 3 from the free throw line. Only part of his game that's not working right now. There's Miller right hand side. Gets himself to the baseline. He's going to stop and put a 10 footer up. Way too long. Coming out of there on the far side with it. Coming in the front court. That's going to be Liam Romay who's out there. And he gets the ball over the head of the key. That's Owens. Owens. As they're down eight and 4.53 to play, he's going to work his way over the left-hand side. Trying to get a pick and go. He's going to try to work his way against Williams. Harris Williams. he got him down on the baseline. Beautiful pass over there into the hands of Brooks. Brooks does a lot of spinning inside. I think they're going to call a foul. And going to send Brooks to the free throw line. Luca Brooks. As Milner picks up his foul, sends Brooks to the line. Brooks got three in the ball game. He's out of Upton, Wyoming. Now, I've been to Wyoming, but I don't know where Upton is. First free throws up, it's no good. He get one more coming. He's a six-footer, just a sophomore. That one's good. And now they cut the lead to seven. Milner with the ball in the front court. And it looks like they're back to that zone defense down there again. Get the ball to Milner. Free throw line shots up. Too long, no good. Burton swats it, but it comes out here. It's going to be Harris Williams grabs it. And he's going to take it inside where they got numbers. Now it's Vining. Nobody's guarding him for his three. It's off the front of the rim. No good. Robinson with the rebound for the Bears. 
and they're going to come back on the attack. He's in the front court now. Harris Williams picks him up there, tries to go by everybody. He goes to Owens deep in the corner for a three. It's up, and it's good. And they've cut the lead down. Now to just four points. And J.C. Eisenstein has seen enough. He's going to call the timeout at the 4.13 mark. So we're going to take that timeout with him. We're going to be gone for a minute. KQDI, 14.50 a.m. Give this a sign. And that sign is to get a satisfying breakfast sandwich for just $2 when you order ahead on the app. Ba-da-ba-ba-ba. The other guys, they think they know what special means. At Godfather's Pizza, we do special, and we do it better. We add the tea. There's a Godfather specialty pizza with your name on it. Classic combo, all meat combo, hot stuff, taco, yeah, even veggie, and more. All of them piled high with the best toppings and 100% real cheese. Treat yourself special. Order specialty pizzas from Godfather's Pizza. Sitting on the bench over there with three fouls apiece. That's Olsen and Norm. So now, without their center, they're going to play the last four minutes of this half. Vining, head of the key, Milner, Milner. Set a pick over to Vining, deep in the corner. That's Harris Williams. Nice pass inside to Reed. Reed, though, gets his own rebound on the miss. Fouled as he went to put it back up. And Coach Isaacson, he's upset at his players. He's hollering out there to start doing something. That's going to be a shooting foul. He's going to send... As Wilson picks up his foul, and that's going to be his second. And the free throw line, that's going to be Jalen Reed. Jalen, he's only got two points in the ballgame so far. He'll put that free throw up and in, however. At the line, number one, Jalen Reed. Senior's got one more coming. they got several seniors on this team for the Argos. They don't want to make this their last ball game. And that one goes in as well. Nice job at the free throw line by Jalen Reed. And now it's two possessions still, 36-30. And Jesse Owen, he comes in the front court. And they're trying to set a pick to free him off. And he's going to be picked up down here by Burton. And he's going to stop, put, put up three, and it's good. You better find Jesse. He's a shooter. And now he cuts the lead to one possession, three points. Here comes Jalen Reed. He's in the, in the key, stops. And his ball gets swatted out of his hands, coming out of there with it. He's going to be the... Oh! <laughs> Ball was stolen right back by Sam Vining. He gets the ball to Burton. Burton's got a slam dunk down there. And now it's 38-33. to 33. Taking advantage of the defense, setting up their offense. And here's Owens. They're setting picks to get him free over the far side. Now on the floor out there for him. It's now going to be Liam Romay. His shot comes down. It's no good. Now coming out of there with it is going to be Harris Williams. A little jab step. Gets himself inside. Drops the ball off. Head of the key. Milner now. He's going to put up three of his own. It's off the front of the rim. No good. Rebound comes off. Wilson's got it for the Bears, and he's going to go over, over to Brooks, and Brooks is going to be in the front court. they got a look at Brooks and an Elliott Brooks. Got to distinguish. This is going to be Luca. He's got a shot up. It's a three-pointer. It's on the way. It's no good. Reed's got the rebound. He's going to bring it out of there. Into the front court for the Argos. Head of the key. Drops the ball off there in the hands of Burton. Burton runs right over the defense. And they're going to call it on. Burton. I think... Coach Dry Koslin's right there in the referee's ear. Might have sold that call a little bit. It's blocked charge. They go either way. Burton, he gets his second foul. He's going to go to the bench. Turn that ball right back over to the Bears. Down five. 2.42 to play still in the first half. And it's going to be Jesse Owens. He's got Currington back out on the floor now, guarding him when he gets to the front court. He wants to work over here on the right-hand side. Down to the baseline he goes. Back out at the center circle to Owens. Currington with the defense. Owens goes right by him and a beautiful shot. Up, no good. Robinson with the rebound. His shot's no good. He gets his own rebound. That one's up and good. Robinson's on the board down there. That's all our center sitting over there on the sideline. And now it's a three-point lead by the Argos. Harris Williams looks at that three-pointer. Doesn't take his steads. Goes left side. Currington 
Back to Harris Williams. There's Reed. Free throw line. Spins. Looks. Got Robinson on him. Little shot in the paint. It's no good. Robinson with a rebound. Comes out of the with it. Gets the ball to Owens. And here comes Rocky with a chance to tie. And they get the ball in the front court. Far side. That's Luca Brooks on the dribble. Takes the paint. Kicks it out on this far side to Wilson. Wilson. Back to the head of the key to Owens. Owens to Robinson. Robinson being guarded by Vining. Vining giving up a lot of heights there. Robinson pushes his way inside. He's got a shot up. They're going to count the shot. They're going to call a foul on Vining. And with that, the Argos are up one. And Robinson at the line to make a free throw. He struggled from the line this ball game. Minute 46 to play. He could tie it though here with one. Shots on the way, and that one's good. And we're all knotted at 38. We had a big lead before our centers got in trouble. Now that lead is all gone. Harris Williams in the front court. Zone defense waiting for him there. He's on the dribble at the head of the key. Working the right-hand side to Milner. Milner and Vining get the head of the key. Vining back over to Milner. Milner goes in the front. He's in the paint. Shots up. Shots good. Nice take to the hole that time. But Eric Milner gets a little 10-foot jumper. Argos again by two. Front court, Owens. Carrington's got him. They're going to pick him off. Owens all the way to the base. Beautiful job that time by Reed. Reed goes up, gets a block. He's got the ball. Now he's in the front court. Gives the ball over to Milner. Milner to Harris Williams. He's going to launch a three of his own. It's up. It's off the rim. No good. Rebound comes off. Owens has got it for the Bears. And with a minute nine to play, they're going to come back on the offense. Jesse on the dribble with Carrington. They're going to pick him up ahead of the key. And they're going to try to set a pick over there to pick him off. And instead, they get the ball for right here. Brooks, he's got a three-pointer on the way. Reed's got the rebound. Gives the ball to Harris Williams. And up two with less than a minute to play. Argos are in the front court. Vining, right-hand side. They're out there. They're not going to let him shoot a three. And now Harris Williams is going to set a pick on Owens. Free him up. Carrington, they're going to have let him shoot the three. And he misses it. And working hard for the rebound. Coming out with it is going to be Owens. And with a difference of about 11 seconds between the game shot and the shot clock, Owens is going to walk it in the front court down two. Free's going to pick him up there at the center circle. Still dribbling. And now he's at the head of the key. Looking for a pick. Now coming. He picks up his dribble. Goes to Robinson. Robinson being guarded by Carrington. Giving up a lot of height. He's going to try to bump Carrington in. Now gets a three to Owens. That one's no good. Rebound comes off. Coming out of the way. It's going to be the Argos. Reed's got it. He's in the front court with 13 seconds to go. Drops to Vining. Vining in the corner to Milner. He'll shoot a three from there. It's good. Eric Milner. Nice shot from the corner. Now it's Argos by four. And here comes the Bears in the front court. they got some, no time to get rid of the ball. And Milner does a terrible deed. He fouls with a 1.1 second left. That's going to send the Bears to the free throw line. That's not a good foul at all, Eric. And going to the free throw line for the Bears is going to be Brooks. That's Luca Brooks. Luca, he's got four in the ball game. Now that one goes off the front of the rim. Good. Now, so with 1.1 second left, here on the floor comes Liam Romay, 6'2". Freshman out of Billing Senior High School. One more free throw on the way, and that one is good. And now you get the ball to Harris Williams. He's going to launch one. Anybody can make it. He can make it. Oh, it was so close. But it goes off the backboard, and we've reached the end of the first half. I look there in that belt back scoreboard. Argos have 43. The Bears have 39. Why don't we go ahead and take a break for a couple. Are you ready to unleash your awesome? Then you need 8-gig all-fiber internet from TDS. You'll have the powerful internet you need to stream, game, learn, and work today, and be prepared to take on anything new you can dream up tomorrow. Imagine internet you'll never outgrow. Get 8-gig all-fiber internet from TDS and embrace infinite possibility.
the University of Providence, we believe college is more than a collection of buildings, or a lecture, or a test, or even a degree. College is about connecting to something greater than yourself. The University of Providence is a private Roman Catholic liberal arts university founded in 1932 by the Sisters of Providence. And we continue to honor their vision by providing students with an education that goes beyond the classroom, an education grounded in our mission of connecting people, connecting people with their communities, with one another, with the environment, with opportunities, with their spiritual journey, and most importantly, connecting people with their potential. The University of Providence. For more than 85 years, DA Davidson has strived to build relationships and trust from our first office in Montana to each of our 70 locations spread out coast to coast. We're on the ground and in your neighborhood combining the values of a local partner with the capabilities of a national institution. We achieve strong outcomes based on mutual success, planning for future generations and building legacies that endure together. Passion, it's what drives us. When you get your hands on something that you're passionate about, there's nothing else like it. That's the value of hands-on learning. So whether your passion is painting or plumbing, engines or engineering, if you're ready to turn your passion into a profession, find us at MSU Northern. Montana has one of the highest suicide rates in the United States. Suicide impacts people of all ages, genders, and ethnicities. On average, 300 Montanans die each year by suicide. Our best chance of stopping suicide is to stop the stigma. It's time to talk openly and honestly about mental health issues. Together, let's take the pledge to be allies against suicide. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Montana. We're proud to say it's where we live and where we work. We're so much more than pretty scenery. We are all hardworking, resilient, and resourceful. The vibe is different here. Stockman Bank, Montana's brand of banking. The other guys, they think they know what special means. At Godfather's Pizza, we do special, and we do it better. We add the T. There's a Godfather specialty pizza with your name on it. Classic combo, all meat combo, hot stuff, taco, yeah, even veggie, and more. All of them piled high with the best toppings and 100% real cheese. Treat yourself special. Order specialty pizzas from Godfather's Pizza. My name is Matt Allen. I'm the Director of Admissions at the University of Montana Western. Montana Western is the only U.S. public institution uh, in the country that operates on a block scheduling model called Experience One. Instead of your semester looking like this in a traditional system, the block schedule at Montana Western looks like this. 
This innovative approach allows students to really focus on that one homework area, have one final, uh, communicate with one professor. Uh, more importantly, there's one professor communicating with that class. The big difference between Montana Western and other institutions is that our students typically have two to three years of experience in their field of study. And it's experience that employers and grad schools are looking for. And like I said, it's experience that a lot of college students don't typically have at that point in time in their academic career. Student success is our top priority. So our faculty and staff are here to help students through their entire student experience. If you are on the fence about ordering McDonald's, consider this a sign. And that sign is to get a satisfying breakfast sandwich for just $2 when you order ahead on the app. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Still? Yeah. How many pages got left? 30. Break time. Good looking out. I got you. I got you. Buy one, get one for a dollar is back. So double up or mix and match. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Here we go. The Heritage Inn is just off I-15 in Great Falls and minutes from the C.M. Russell Museum, the Lewis and Clark Interpretive Center, Giant Springs State Park, and many other attractions. You'll be near Malmstrom Air Force Base, Great Falls International Airport, and the River's Edge Trail along the Missouri River. After a day of travel, sightseeing, or fly fishing, unwind in the hot tub and take a dip in our heated pool. There's an exercise facility and a steam room. We have a full range of dining and entertainment options, including the Max Casino and Sports Bar, the Palomino Coffee Bar, and the Willow Creek Restaurant. Your accommodations will include satellite TV, in-room movies, a refrigerator, a microwave, a coffee and tea maker, and high-speed Wi-Fi. For an unforgettable trip to Great Falls, make your reservation at the Heritage Inn. Scrap metal for cash? Come visit us at Central Montana's leader in recycling, steel, etc. in Great Falls. Our center processes steel, stainless steel, aluminum, copper, brass, and lead. And we pay cash for scrap based on weight. We also accept batteries, electric motors, paper, cardboard, and more. And our roll-off containers are available for any scrap projects you have. We even buy and recycle junk cars. Trade your scrap for cash. Visit us at steeletc.com or call us at 761-4848. Ready to unleash your awesome? Then you need 8 gig all fiber internet from TDS. You'll have the powerful internet you need to stream, game, learn, and work today, and be prepared to take on anything new you can dream up tomorrow. Imagine internet you'll never outgrow. Get 8 gig all fiber internet from TDS and embrace infinite possibility.
At the University of Providence, we believe college is more than a collection of buildings, or a lecture, or a test, or even a degree. College is about connecting to something greater than yourself. The University of Providence is a private Roman Catholic liberal arts university founded in 1932 by the Sisters of Providence. And we continue to honor their vision by providing students with an education that goes beyond the classroom, an education grounded in our mission of connecting people, connecting people with their communities, with one another, with the environment, with opportunities, with their spiritual journey, and most importantly, connecting people with their potential. The University of Providence. Uh, normally when you get warm days in the winter in this part of the country, it's because there's a nice Chinook breeze blowing, but we've just had just nice warm days, calm. Uh, I actually had snow that landed in my yard that melted in my yard. Normally the stuff that lands in my yard melts 10 miles east of where I live. But it's uh, been a beautiful winter, and uh, we're just about to put February in the rearview mirror, and everybody can't wait for March to get here. Of course, March, what that means is tournament basketball here in the state of Montana, and especially if you live here in Great Falls, Montana. There's a tournament uh, two weeks ago. The 8C was in town, the Northern Sea. Last weekend we have the uh, Frontier going on this weekend, and next week the State Sea comes to Great Falls. Lots and lots of basketball. If you got a itch to go out and watch basketball, Great Falls is the place to be. We've uh, had several folks that have come in. They said, well, we couldn't ski this year because there hasn't been any snow, so they've been watching basketball instead. And uh, now they got some snow up there in the mountains, too. Talking to my buddy of mine today, he's up there skiing today. Says they've seen better snow, but it's not too bad compared to where they were uh, not too long ago. Of course, this area of the state, uh, we need that snow in the mountains to keep the fire dangers down and uh, provide a little bit of irrigation for our farmers in the summertime and our snow packs are not good so it can snow all at once we know you're going to get one of three things in montana in the winter it's going to be wind or snow or cold and i don't care which one it is as long as it is any combination of any two of the three and meanwhile oh, we got basketball going on argos get the ball to start the second half head of the key they've got it working over there that's going to be reed reed looking for harris williams get the ball inside to jake olson he gets checked at the rim Looked like a good check from where I was at, but didn't look so good from where the referee was at. And picking up his first foul in the second half is going to be A.J. Wilson. And that's going to send Jake Olson to the free throw line to shoot a couple. That's the third foul called on A.J. Wilson. He wasn't happy with it. Jake's at the free throw line. He's out of Sam Russell High School. He's a 6'5 senior. Free throws up, and that's good. They needed Jake to stay out of foul trouble. They need him on the floor. They're a much better team when he's out there. Plays that center at six foot five. He gives up a lot of size almost every time he goes out there. Second free is up. That's nothing but net. And now it's going to be Owens with the ball. He got Reed right on him. He's going to pester him all the way up the floor. Owens, he's in the front court now, working on the center of the floor, works on the right hand side. Got Robinson. He's at the head of the key. Looks at that three. He doesn't take it. Steady drops the ball off. That goes in the hands of. Owens, Owens takes in the paint, gets by Reed, shot's no good, Olsen's got the rebound, coming out of the weather quickly, and now it's going to be Harris Williams at the front court, takes it inside Robinson, Robinson gives it to Olsen, and we're going to have either a travel or a jump ball, they're going to go jump ball, possession arrow goes back to the Bears, Olsen had a hard time controlling the pass, his hot little pass, he wasn't there far away, so. and now here comes Owens, once again Reed's on him, they're going to have him try to pick him off, and he brings the ball in the front court. Now they're going to set a pick again. He's going to go left. There, Olsen cuts him off. Head of the key. That's Robinson. Robinson, right-hand side. That's going to be over the hands of Brooks. Brooks over the head of the key. That's Tyson. He's got a three-pointer on the way. It's up. It's good. Okay, Tyson, he gets a three-pointer. Cuts the lead to three points. And in the front court, it's going to be Burton. Burton on the dribble. Picks it up. Goes over to Harris Williams. Harris Williams guarded by Owens. Wants to work over here on the right-hand side. Picks up his dribble there. Goes Reed at the free-throw line. Reed in the center to Olsen. Olsen got a lap up. Count that basket. Jake's going to go right back to the free throw line. Robinson picks up a foul. Nice job getting the ball inside to Jake. He knew just what to do with it. He's got another basket. That's third foul on Robinson. Oh, excuse me. That was not Robinson. They called that the third foul on A.J. Wilson. Oh, they're, they're just slow on the clock over there. It's the first foul on Robinson. 
That last foul was still up there from the last time they were down here. Olsen, free throw good. And now a six-point lead. And Owens is going to be guarded by Burton. Guarded by Reed as he brings the ball in the front court. He's in the front court now, still on the dribble. And he wants to work with a pick off of Robinson. And Robinson now ahead of the key. He's going to launch him from way outside. I mean way outside. That was way beyond the three-point lines. No good. Coming out of there with it is going to be Harris Williams. And he's in the front court. Far side, Vining inside Olsen. Olsen does a nice job catching that pass. Turns, looks, Milner. Milner tries to take it inside. They cut him off. Head of key now, Reed. Reed on the dribble with Olsen. Owens in front of him. Zone defense still being played down here by Rocky Mountain. And now Harris Williams, a little spin move inside. Stops, pops in the lane. Up and good. Harris Williams. I think he can make that shot every time he took it. He's uh, got a decent... He hits the break so fast, the defense goes by him. He stops, a little fader. And now here comes Owens. He's going to put something up in the... Oh, beautiful shot. Takes it off the bank shot and drains that thing. And they're going to get the score to 50 to 44. Six point lead by the Argos. And there's a timeout on the floor. So why don't we go ahead and take that timeout with him? Looks like everybody's sitting down. We'll be gone for a minute. KQDI, 1450 AM. Are you ready to unleash your awesome? Then you need 8 gig all fiber internet from TDS. You'll have the powerful internet you need to stream, game, learn, and work today, and be prepared to take on anything new you can dream up tomorrow. Imagine internet you'll never outgrow. Get 8 gig all fiber internet from TDS and embrace infinite possibility. Still? Yeah. How many pages got left? 30. Break time. Good looking out. I got you, I got you. Buy one, get one for a dollar is back. So double up or mix and match. Ba-da-ba-ba-ba. Seems to be a long time out over there. We took a minute time out. And uh, they're still in their huddles over there. Finally, the refs go over there to kick him out. Let's play some basketball. My listening audience is ready. Let's play. I'm going to be here all day. I got these two boys games. And when they're done, I got the two gals games. Following this one, Northern and Rocky uh, are going to be playing on the girls' side of the bracket. And the winner of that game, uh, unfortunately, is going to get Carroll College. And that will be tomorrow at about uh, 5 o'clock in the afternoon. And here they come in the front court. Argos, that's going to be finding. Finding head of the key to Reed. Reed this side to Milner. Milner jumps ahead of the key. Tries to throw it. The ball's over here in our equipment. Nice job, Sarge. You saved $7,000 right there. That basketball lands amongst us. We're in deep trouble over here. Jim Sarge is sitting over here on my right. He's got more gear here than. I, I'm not, I haven't seen anybody with that much gear in front of him. He's running about 10 different things over there. I'm not sure what all it is. I got to deal with my radio remote, and that's all I'm worried about. And now here comes Owens. He's in the front court. Olsen's got him. Head of the key. Robinson deep in the corner. Going to have a shot put up there. It's a three-pointer on the way. It's off the side of the rim. No good. Wilson put it up. And coming out of there with it is going to be Owens. He's at the head of the key. And now they're going to another launch from Brooks. That one's no good as well. This time, Reed's got it for the Argos. And he'll bring in the front court. They're getting good looks. They're just not making their shots. Isaacson's upset with the defense. Even though they're missing, he's not happy. There's nobody on those guys. Milner, free throw line. Turns, looks. Nobody's on him. He goes over the top of Robinson. Good. Eric Milner. Beautiful shot that time. A little floater in the paint. He's got eight points in the ball game, and here comes Owens down eight. And now he's going to throw the ball and try to get to Robinson. Reed playing the good defense. He's got a steal. we got a two-on-two. Two. He's got Jake on one side. He's got Milner on the other. Rocky bats it out of bounds. It's going to be baseline Argos. And now we have Elliot Brooks coming on the floor, and uh, Cade Tyson goes to the bench for the Bears. And throwing the ball into the baseline is going to be Damian Harris-Williams. He gets the ball to Jake. Jake says, come on, you guys. Here's that Milner, head of the key. Now Vining, deep in the corner. That's Harris-Williams over there. Drops inside to Reed. He turns, spins, head fake. People in the air. He goes underneath. He's got a layup. Beautiful head fake that time by Jalen Reed. He gets a layup. And now they're up 10. And here comes Rocky. Front court. 
That's going to be Luca Brooks on the dribble. Williams got him. Harris Williams. He goes by Olsen. Olsen being careful not to foul, but he gets a block. Coming out of the those is going to be Reed. Reed's in the front court. That's all the defense run by him, and now he's going to go left-hand side to Williams. Harris Williams, he's in the paint, stops, comes over the top to Viney. They're on top of him. They're not going to let him shoot a three. Harris Williams, they'll let him shoot it, and that's a big mistake, although he misses it. But coming out on the far side of the rebound is going to be Milner, but he couldn't hold on to the ball. He loses it out of bounds. Harris Williams, he doesn't miss often. He missed that time. And now with 16 minutes to play in the game, it's going to be Owens guarded by Reed. Wants to work on the right-hand side. They're going to set an illegal pick. I hope, yes, they called that one. Luca Brooks came up and set a blind pick. and you got to leave a little space when you set him on the blind side. He didn't do it. Ball goes back over to the Argos. And for Luca, that's going to be his second. He'll take those two fouls to the bench as Kate Tyson comes back on. Vining to take it out over there on the far side. He's got several choices, and he gets the ball. <laughs> You've got to be paying attention. That Jesse Owens, he's always after that basketball. He come in the backside and swatted that away, but he swatted it out of bounds. Now they got it into Milner in the front court. And he's working on the left-hand side. His own defense there waiting for him. He's got head of the key, Harris Williams. He's going to launch a three from way outside, and it's good. Damian Harris Williams. He is a shooter, folks, I'm telling you. He's just an offensive machine out there. And now it's a 13-point lead by the Argos. In the front court comes the Bears. Wilson's got it. Kicks it back out over the top. Now he's got it back. Olsen's on him. They'd like to take on him and see if they can pick up a fourth foul on Jake. But now Jake's guarding Tyson. And he's going to stop, shoot up one over the top of Jake. That's not going to work. Rebound comes off. Coming out of there with it is going to be the Argos. Reed with the rebound. He gets the ball to Harris Williams. Harris Williams left side. Vining. Vining looks for something. Nothing there. Good defense by the Rocky Mountain as they read the play and shut it off. Now it's Harris Williams. They're going to have him picked by Jake. Gets the ball over here on the right-hand side to Milner. Milner gets it inside to Jake Olson. He spins, looks, and he's going to get fouled as he tried to dribble it. And coming in, picking up, I think it's going to be his fourth foul. It's going to be A.J. Wilson. I've been wrong before. And, but nope, I'm right this time. A.J.'s fourth. He's going to the bench. Coming on his place is going to be Liam Romay. Romay, I guess is how they say it. R-O-M-E-I, Romay. He's out of Billing Senior. Harris Williams will throw it in from the baseline. He's looking all the way over the top to Milner. Milner, Harris Williams, deep in the corner. Nobody's guarding Sam Vining. Big mistake. Ooh, Sam missed one from the corner. That doesn't happen very often. And getting the ball, rebound on the far side. That's going to be Owens' front court on the hurry in the paint. Goes baseline with it. Kicks it back out. Now it's going to be head of the key, right-hand side. Over there is where Romay. Romay, Tyson now, head of the key. Drops the ball off to Owens. Owens being guarded by Harris Williams. And he's looking over something. He's got to go down to Robinson baseline with Milner on him. Robinson. Tries to take it across the top of the paint. Goes far side. He's got a shot up over there. It's a three-pointer up and in. And that's going to be Romay. And with that three-pointer, they're going to have a timeout on the floor. Argos are up 57-47. 14-20 to play. We're going to have a timeout on the floor. And why don't we go ahead and take a full timeout? We'll be back. KQDI, 1450 AM. For more than... places try to get away with skimming a little off the top. Not on my joint. Godfather's Pizza doesn't cut any corners. Our dough is freshly made every day. We don't sprinkle on a little cheese. We pile on 100% real mozzarella, and we ain't chintzy with the toppings, neither. Every pizza is loaded with the highest quality meat and fresh veggies. And nobody, I mean nobody, can compete with our specialty pies like taco, humble pie, classic combo. Don't settle for skimpy. Get the real deal at Godfather's Pizza.
He's going to go against Rocky. They're picking up a whole bunch of them right down here on this end of the floor. That's going to be their fifth team foul already. There's 13.48 to play here still in the second half. And zero fouls have been called on the Argos. And now Harris Williams again looking to get it in. And he goes into Jake. Olsen hands it back over to Harris Williams. Harris Williams is going to go baseline. They're going to stop him right there. Gets back to Jake. Little give go. Jake got a shot. Up and in. Nice job by Jake Olsen. Good job by Harris Williams to get him that good look. And now it's Argos by 12 as Robinson's going to bring it in the front court. Olsen's going to pick him up there as he gets the head of the key. And he wants to work his way over the right-hand side. Dumps down the corner. That's going to be Tyson coming out of there with it. He's got Harris Williams on him. And now Robinson with Olsen on him. Tries to take him inside. They'd love to get a foul on Jake. Long stretch there. It's no good. Rebound comes off. Coming out of there is going to be Reed. Reed, uh, Harris Williams, Harris Williams in the front court. He's going to be picked up there by Tyson. Cade comes out to get him. Goes over here on the right-hand side to Milner. Milner. Lost the ball. Referee's out of bounds, and he would have saved that ball if the referee hadn't been there. But instead, the ball touched the referee, goes out of bounds, so it goes over to Rocky. Referee's got to be somewhere out there. you got to look out for those guys. He was out of bounds trying to get out of the way. And here comes Rocky. And Romay, he just made a three. He's going to cast off another one, and that one's off the back of the rim. No good. Long rebound comes out. Right back to Romay. He picks it up and gives it to Owens. Owens being guarded by Reed. Wants to go left. Gets right by Reed. He's in the paint. Kicks it back out in the corner. That's going to have a shot over there. It's a three-pointer up and in. Nice shot over there by Elliott Brooks as he gets a three-pointer, cutting the lead to nine points. And with 12.31 to play, here comes Yargos in the front court. Harris Williams with Tyson on him. Works over on the left-hand side. That's going to be Milner. Milner to Reed. Reed losing control of the ball. Flips it back in. Nice job by Milner to save it. Gets the ball to Olsen. Head of the key now. Harris Williams, he's going to stop and pop a three from the head of the key. Off the back of the room, no good. Rebound comes off. Brooks has got it. He'll bring it in the front court. No, he'll give it to Robinson. Let Robinson bring it in the front court. Olsen picks him up. He's going to shoot it from the head of the key. A three-pointer on the way. Up and in. K.O. Robinson cuts that lead to six. At the 12.05 mark, 59-53. Hargos are up. We're going to have a timeout on the floor. And with that timeout, we'll take it with him. It looks like it's going to be a 30-second timeout. Why don't we go ahead and take exactly. 30 seconds? Exactly. Northwestern we'll Energy KDI, delivering a bright future. 50 a.m. By making sure your lights come on every day. And providing new ways to help you save. By adding critical infrastructure. That allows our communities to grow. By dedicating time and resources that ensure our energy's reliability. And decreasing our emissions until we reach net zero. It's your future and all of ours. So we won't stop working. Until it's as bright as it can be. Uh, Argo ball, 12.05 to play second half. They're up six, and it looks like uh, Rocky. Nope, they're not going to put any pressure on. They're all going to come down here, and let's see what kind of defense they're going to set up in. Looks like they might go to man-to-man -man this time, and here comes Damien Williams in the front court. He's got his path to the lane, basket, puts a shot up. That's going to drain, and he's going to get a foul on Robinson. <laughs> Harris. Damien Harris-Williams. He is so good. He's such a joy to watch him play. He's got all these little Jick and Jake mooks in there, and he gets people in the air and picks up fouls on them, and he can finish at the rim. Excellent ball player over his career for the Argos. He's a senior. He doesn't want this to be his last game. So now with a nine-point lead at 11.57 to play, the senior's going to go to the free throw line and shoot one. Yeah, and that one's going to go off the front of the rim no good. Robinson, he picked up his second foul and his rebound. As he brings his front court, Olsen's going to pick him up there at the head of the key. And now the Owens, and now they got a shot up there on the left-hand side. It's off the rim, no good. Coming out with the rebound. Going to be two CMR guys fighting over it. Coming out there was going to be Olsen gets the ball to Harris-Williams, and Harris-Williams in the front court. Up eight. 
Puts a move on Owens. Beautiful pass inside to Jake Olsen. He's got a dunk. Nice pass that time by Harris Williams. Getting an easy dunk for Jake. And I think he got fouled. And well, he's going to go to the free throw line. It's a 10-point game. And Jake is going to go there and picking up his first foul. Is going to be Elliot Brooks. That's the seventh foul on the Bears. Still nothing called on the uh, Argos so far in this half. And don't think Coach Drykosen hasn't noticed that. Free throw's good. And now here comes Robinson for the Bears. He's over on the right-hand side of the floor. He's going to dribble. Olsen waiting for him. Still in the dribble as they set up that Bear offense. Head of the key now. Trying to get inside. And Olsen kicks the ball out. Got a shot from the wing. It's a three-pointer up and in. Luca Brooks gets another three-pointer. Beautiful shot. Beautiful shot. And now Harris Williams calling out play number C, whatever that is. That's Jake setting him a pick deep in the corner. Vining, Vining, trying to go baseline. Gets in the paint, stops. He's got a little fader. He can make that all day, too. Sam Vining's got a basket. And here comes Owens. Owens, front court, Robinson. Robinson on the dribble with Jake on him. Oh, and Jake does this foolish. He reaches out. Jake doesn't agree that he even touched him. Referee's got a foul on him. That's going to send Jake to the bench with this fourth foul. Jake saying, I didn't touch anybody. It wasn't the shooting foul. He's still on there playing defense. There's the horn to get him off the floor as Burton comes on. And that's painful to have Jake go to the bench. 10.53 to play. They're up just 10. Are the Argos taking the ball out? It's going to be Jesse Owens. And he's looking for something inside. And we're going to have some illegal pick or somebody holding. Up, oh, they're holding. It's going to go against the Argos as they're even up that foul count. Mining picks up a foul. Now it's seven fouls on the Bears and two on the Argos. Taking the ball on the baseline is going to be Jesse looking for something inside. Anything there? Uh, no, he's going to have to go over the top. Robinson now. Robinson with Vining on him. Looks to go baseline. Vining cuts him off, but he gets underneath the basket. Shots up there. And we're going to be fouled. I think they're going to call that one on Milner. In the act of shooting, going to send Robinson to the free throw line. Now they're going to call Reed with a foul. Send Robinson to the free throw line. Try to cut into that 10-point Argo lead. Kale. He's out of Hamilton, New Zealand. And he makes that shot. The question is, was that ball spinning backwards? One more. And now it's eight-point lead. And Milner's got it. And he'll bring it into the front court. Gives it there to Reed. Reed on the dribble. Head of the key. Comes right-hand side to Harris Williams. Harris Williams head of the key. Left-hand side. Dividing back to Harris Williams. Head of the key. Now binding deep in the corner. That's where we find Burton. He goes baseline up and under. There's a lap. Good for two points. Nice job that time by Javon Burton as he gets another basket here in the ballgame. And now Robinson quickly in the front court. Being guarded there by Burton as he takes the ball over the head of the key. Tries to get it inside. Good defense being played by the Argos, but not good enough. Get outside to Luke Elliott Brooks. And Elliott gets a three-pointer. Now it's a seven-point game. And here we come on this side. binding has got it. Binding back to Harris Williams. Harris Williams to Reed. Reed on the dribble on the far side. And there's Burton on the baseline. Turns, looks, gives to Milner. Little jumper. It's good. Beautiful. Give and go that time. Burton to Milner. Another two points for the Argos. And now we're under 10 minutes to play. Over halfway through here in the second half. Robinson with the ball. He's at the stop. He's going to shoot a three pointer from the head of the key. They're heating up. That's good. They're making all their outside shots now. They cut the lead to six. They're going to have to extend that Argo offense or defense out and stop that. And we're going to have a timeout to talk about it. So at the 936 mark, with the Argos up 70 to 64, there's a timeout on the floor. And it's a full timeout. So we all know there's every time they do this, I'm not going to go until these guys figure it out. 30 seconds. We'll be. to play. Argos have a six-point lead. That's not anything in the Frontier Conference. 
Six points will disappear in the flash of an eye. Get the ball inside to Harris Williams. And they're going to set up the Argo offense. Being guarded over there by Luka, Bro Luka Brooks. And they're going to send a pick, try to get him free. He goes baseline. Harris Williams shots up. And are they going to count the basket? Or if they are, count that basket and go to the free throw line. Didn't know who had a block charge or what was going on over there. The basket's going to count. Harris Williams to the free throw line. Nice hard take to the hole that time. Picking up for his second foul is going to be Brooks. As the free throw goes in, that's... I have to be mis more specific. It was Elliot Brooks. And now it's a nine-point lead. And with the ball is going to be Robinson bringing the front court. And the Kiwi dribbles between his legs. He's out of the head of the key. Working over there on the right-hand side now. Trying to go baseline. They force him to the middle of the floor and drops the ball off. And that goes to Brooks up and under. That's a beautiful play. It's going to be A.J. Wilson with a layup as we roll under nine minutes to play. Harris Williams with the ball in the front court. Defense picks him up right there. He's got Wilson guarding him. Man-to-man -man defense being played down here. Left-hand side. That's Milner. Milner on the dribble. Head of the key. Harris Williams. Harris Williams with going to set a pick. Try to free him up. He goes left-hand side. And we have a whistle. And I think they're going to be fouling Harris Williams on the drive. That's going to be the ninth team foul on the bear. It means we're in a one-on-one -on -one situation. Davian's going to have to go to the free-throw line to make the first one to get the second one. Second foul called in the ball game on Jesse Owens. And the senior's got a free throw on the way, and it's good. He's got such a sweet stroke. One more free throw coming for Javian. Davian, excuse me. And that one's good as well. And it's back that nine point lead. Full court pressure now. A little pressure by the Argos. Just kind of fades back, a little man-to-man -man stuff in the front court. Here comes Luca Brooks. Luca with Reed on him, tries to go baseline, does go baseline. Owens has got a layup. Beautiful play by Rocky to get a wide open Jesse Owens on that baseline. And in the front court comes Harris Williams. Now he's got Jesse Owens going to guard him. And he's got Reed to the left, carrying to the right, he goes left. Now it's Reed. He's at the head of the key. Carrington at the free throw line. Spins, looks, got Robson on him. Goes to Miller in the corner. He's going to put up a little 10-footer. Count it. Miller has got that little 10-foot jumper working. Gets that lead right back to nine. And here comes front court. Going to be Luca Brooks. And he goes right by Harris Williams. Pulls up his dribble. Comes back ahead of the key to Jesse Owens. Jesse, left-hand side. Going to have a three-pointer put up over there. That one's no good. Putting that shot up is going to be Luca Brooks. Coming out of the rebound is going to be Harris Williams. And he's going to bring it to the front court. Defense waiting for him, Jesse Owens. He's going to dribble, take a little time off that clock. Wants to work over there on the left-hand side. The Milner can't get it him. So now he's going to go Kierington on the left. Inside to Reed. Reed on the baseline. Turns, looks. Little spin move inside. He's got a little 10-footer from the baseline. That one's no good. Rebound comes off. Robinson's got it for the Bears, and he's in the front court. Trying to work his way in the paint. He's got a layup. And they're going to count that layup, and they're going to say he was fouled. Going to send Kale to the free throw line. Subtle little foul. Whoever did that, I didn't see it. They're going to call the third foul on Burton. Javon Burton with three. Norm's got three. Olsen's got four. Those are the big guys for the Argos. As Robinson finishes off the three-point play, cuts that lead to 77-71 to with 7.19 to play here in the second half. And there's a timeout on the floor by the Bears. We're going to be gone for a minute. KQDI, 1450 AM. We invite you to stay at one of the newest hotels in Great Falls. Warm, friendly atmosphere and a friendly staff that's ready to assist you in your every need. When you check in, this is the kind of room you will receive clean and comfortable where you get wonderful breakfast and how about a nice glass of wine upon your check-in easy check-in with your professional team to assist you make your next reservation at the gibson downtown great falls there are two types of people in this world those who love taco john's and those who haven't tried us yet we're a destination for excitement where your wildest cravings and our wildest creations meet in crispy melty zesty harmony sirloin steak homemade pico de gallo and our taco shells are fried fresh every day 
At Taco John's, every visit is a chance to go bigger, live bolder, and eat better. And once you get a taste, there's no going back. A bolder option is here. Taco John's. Get things going, they get in some foul trouble. They've got all their big guys in foul trouble. They're going to bring Jake Olson back on the floor with his four for the last 7-19. And uh, Coach Drykosen for Rocky, he recognized the situation. He's taking the ball right at the big guys when they're out there on the floor trying to get him out of the game. You've got Kale Robinson, his big guy that's out there on the floor. He's got a whole bunch of points. Kale's got 25 points already in the ball game. We still got 7-19 to play. And here comes Reed into the front court. He's going to be picked up there on defense by A.J. Wilson. Gets the ball to Damian Williams. They're going to, have to steal the ball from him. Coming out of there with us is going to be Tyson. Tyson goes down. He's got Reed. Reed, Wilson, and they're going to have a foul. And we're going to have a foul on the Argos. And they're going to send Wilson to the free throw line. And picking up his fourth foul is going to be Burton. And we're going to go to the free throw line. That's going to be A.J. Wilson. He's a 6'2 junior out of Miami, Florida. How they find their way from Miami to, great, to uh, Billings, I don't know. Free throws up and good. And now the same R boys are coming back on the floor. One to the bench. Got Olsen on, Vining on, Carrington to the bench, Milner to the bench. And with 7.05 to play here in the second half, trying to make the second of the free throws at the free throw line is A.J. Wilson. Takes deep breath. This one's on the way, and that one's good as well. And now it's a four-point lead. And full court pressure by the Bears. They get the ball inside. That's going to be Milner. Milner being guarded by Wilson. And now he's in the front court. And he's going to work over here to Olsen. Olsen's out of the key. Olsen looks, has to look out. They're coming for him. And the two binding doesn't go there. Instead, he goes to Burton. Burton on the side over there. Burton's going to take the ball ahead of the key. Free throw line. Spin move inside. And the ball's going to get jump ball situation. Possession arrow stays here with the Argos. He spun right into the defense. Standing right there was going to be Wilson. Tied him up. And it's going to be Argo ball baseline. Here's Williams to throw it in. And they're calling for something out there on the floor. Oh, they got a little moisture on there. Get that toweled up. And now it'll be Argo ball baseline. They're in a the box around the key. And he's got Vining on one side. He goes Olsen on this side. Now to Head of the key to Reed, and there's going to be Damon. Takes it inside, underneath the basket, up and in. Up and in, just a wonderful shot. And now it's a six-point lead. And they're going to get the ball into Owens. He's going to bring the front court. Reed's on him. Reed playing the good defense. Owens ahead of the key. Goes a beautiful pass underneath the Robinson. Up and under. Great pass by Robinson to Robinson as he gets an easy layup against that Argo defense. And now it's four points again. 6-16 to play as they bring it in the front court. Harris Williams on the dribble. They're going to set a pick on Tyson to free him up. Looks for Olsen on the go. Not there. The binding on the side. And we have the ball to Milner. And they're going to say he traveled with it. And so they turn the ball right back over to the Bears. As Burton comes off the floor. And Milner comes back on. Tyson's got the ball. Cade's going to bring it to the front court. He's got Milner guarding him. He's going to bring it to the front court. Try to set the pick, free him up. He goes over on the right-hand side. Head of the key. That's going to be Elliott Brooks. Elliott to Jesse Owens. Owens takes it out by the center circle and set up that bare offense. Give, go, deep in the corner. That's going to be to Wilson. Wilson to Robinson. Robinson with an easy layup. And now it's a two-point game. Things are starting to look a little scary for the Argos. They're getting a lot of easy looks. Those bears are underneath there. Our big guy's got foul trouble. Drykosen knows it, and he knows where to go with that ball. And he gets the ball to Milner. Milner, a little spin move inside, has to kick it out to Reed. He's got a three-pointer on the way. That rattles out no good. Olsen's got the rebound. He's fouled. And that foul's going to go against, I think, Tyson. Kay's going to pick up his fifth, and his day is done. He goes to the free. He's going to head out of the ball game. I see Currington coming on, Vining going to the bench. Drykosen's going to have to come up with a sub of his own as uh, Jake Olsen goes to the free throw line to shoot two now because that was the 10th foul on the Bears. And he's going to bring Luca Brooks on. 
So he's got Luca and Elliot Brooks both out there on the floor at the same time. Jake Olson, senior free throw line, good. And now it's a three-point game. Argo's got a lot of seniors that don't want this to be their last game. And that free throw is no good, but Carrington goes up and gets a rebound. Nice job by Caleb. Going to set up that offense. Got Whistle. And they want to set the shot clock. They take a couple seconds off. Goes down to 17 seconds from 19. Argo ball sideline over by their bench. Carrington to throw it in to Harris Williams. Up three. They're going to set up their offense. Harris Williams, he's let that thing run down about 10 seconds. And now he's going to go to work. Left-hand side. That's Reed. Reed takes it to the free throw line. Stops. Pop a little shot from there. It's good. Nice job by Reed. He gets another basket. Now five. Lead by the Argos. Owens with the ball. Carrington is going to fall in right up the floor. Now he's in the front court. Center circle. Dribbling between his legs. Now he's trying to go. And good job by Jake Holson to cut him off. Carrington shoves him underneath the basket. Three-pointer up and in. That's going to be a great shot. Put up out there by A.J. Wilson again. And he cuts that lead to two. He was way out there on that three-point shot. And now Damian Williams got the Harris Williams ahead of the key. Beautiful pass inside. Jake Wilson layup. Nice job that time. That was Reed that did that passing. And that got a nice look by Jake. He's got another basket. And now it's going to be Carrington guarding Owens. They bring it in the front court as we roll under 419 to play in the ball game. Olsen on the dribble at the head of the key. He wants to do something with it. He's got Olsen guarding him. Olsen can't guard him. He said he kicks the ball out the left-hand side. Going to have a shot put up there in the corner. Another three on the way. Up and in. That's going to be Elliott Brooks. They are just draining their threes this second half. And now it's a one-point Argo lead. Harris Williams in the front court. Owens has got him there. He's on the dribble. Gets the ball left-hand side to Milner. Milner turns, gets aside to Jake. Jake got another layup. Nice job by the Argos. Getting a layup out of that beautiful ball movement. As at 349, they get a 86 to 83 lead. And there's a timeout on the floor. And with that timeout on the floor, is everybody going to go sit down? What are they going to do? Yes, they are. So let's go ahead and take a minute. We'll be back. KQDI, 1450 AM. Make your family's time on the water extraordinary in a Mastercraft wake boat from Pierce RV and Marine. Mastercraft's award-winning boats are built with best-in-class materials for proven durability. Whether you're wakeboarding, wake surfing, water skiing, or tubing, there's something for everyone. Choose from the flagship X-Star family to the X-Series, XT, and Sleek NXT models. This season, experience world-class performance and endless fun with a Mastercraft wake boat from Pierce RV and Marine in Billings. Mountain Bears, they just won't go away. There are three points behind the Argos right now with 3.49 to play. They're at a timeout over there. These teams, they score a lot. When they played on the 10th, the UP won that game 89-86. Now it's 86-83, and there's still a lot of basketball yet left to be played. So uh, the defense hasn't been evident here in the second half. Both these teams scoring inside and outside. The Bears are just nailing their three-pointers. And now we get Owens with the ball. Owens being guarded there by Reed. As he's going to bring in the front court, Robinson to set a pick to get Reed off him. Doesn't work. Reed's still there. And he wants to work the ball to Olsen. Olsen picks him off. He's back to the head of the key, still in the dribble. Looking for something baseline. Last time he goes right by Olsen. Little fade shot. Shots up. Two-pointer. It's good. Owens with another basket. Cuts the lead to one. And Harris. Williams brings in the front court at the 324 mark. Down to the baseline. Olsen gets the ball to Reed. He's got a three-pointer on the way. It's up. It's good. Beautiful shot that time, right when they need it. Jalen Reed with a three-pointer. And now it's a four-point Argo lead as Rob Robinson brings in the front court, head of the key. They're going to pick Olsen off, get him off Robinson. Now Robinson goes down, and we got Owens with the move on Jake. He gets inside. Good defense being played by Jake. Robinson, he's all over that board and trying to save it, and they can't do it. As the Argos is going to go back over to the Bears. 2.55 to play, four-point lead by the Argos. 
Owens to take it out baseline. They got everybody over here on the right-hand side of the floor. They got some moisture out there. They're going to bring the little mop out there and clear things up. This time of the lane, day, I mean, people are sweating. Bodies on the floor. Anytime they hit the floor, there's going to be water there. They're kind of finding all kinds of it out there. They're working that young man to death. Now they got him out of the way. Owens on the baseline. Get to throw, throw the ball in. And now they're going to go in a straight line across the floor are the Bears. And they're looking for something inside if they can find it. Now that's not going to happen. Instead, they go in the corner. They get the ball in the hands of Luca Brooks. Luca brings out to Robinson. He's at the head of the key on the dribble. Going to be guarded by Carrington. Goes right by Carrington. Beautiful pass inside. Shot's no good. Foul on the Argos. And it's going to send the Bears to the free throw line. And Burton, that's going to be his fifth. But that's on him. They called it on Burton. They gave the ball to Carrington. That's a good thing for the Argos. Going to the free throw line is going to be A.J. Wilson. A.J.'s got 10 points in the ball game. He's out there with four fouls. And his first free throw is off the front of the rim. No good. Sam Binding, he's on the floor. Milner goes to the bench for Coach Isaacson. And one more free throw coming for the junior. Make it a one possession game with the basket, and he does. And now it's Harris Williams with the ball. Up three as he comes in the front court. He's going to get picked up there. That's going to be Wilson guarding him. He's going to work away on the left-hand side. He's in the paint, stops, can't get a shot off, goes out to Vining, head of the key. That's going to be Milner, or excuse me, Reed. He's fouled as he's taken to the hole. Everything's going to be two shots for the Argos from here on out as they've got over ten fouls over there on the Bears. Milner at the free throw line. Excuse me, Reed at the free throw line. Jalen. He's got 11 points. And they got to fill that slot, so Harris Williams steps in there. Jalen's played a fine ball game today. Nothing but net on that free throw. And now it's a four-point game. He's taking his time. These are so important. This is lose or go home. And even though you're in Great Falls, you still don't want to go home. And the second free throw is good. They'd like to send these Bears back down Highway 3. And in the front court is going to be Jesse Owens. He's on the right-hand side of the floor. Switches his dribble. He gets his way in the paint. He puts up a shot. It's no good. Olsen with the rebound. Gets the ball to Milner. Excuse me, to Reed. Reed to Harris Williams. And Harris Williams brings it into the front court. He's going to take his time, 20 on the Scott clock. They'd love to burn as much as they can as the clock's going to roll under two minutes to play. Olsen has set a pick. Now he's going to go on the right side. Williams, Harris Williams, looks, tries to get to Olsen. Finally does. Goes in the corner. Nobody's guarding Carrington. He takes it inside to Olsen. Olsen takes it inside. He's got a layup. Up and in. Carrington with a great pass. One wrestler to the next. And Olsen's got a basket. And now it's six points. And here's Robinson. He's going to stop. Look at that three point. They're not going to let him have it. And they're going to get the ball to Jesse Owens. That ball's going to get stolen. Sam Binding's got it. He gets to Harris Williams. And the Argos are going to go back on the attack. 133 to play as they bring it in the front court. Coach Isaacson says, Slow down, fellas. Slow down. We're not in a hurry. We got the lead. Let's burn some clock. And so that's what they're doing. Harris Williams out towards the center circle, trying to bring that defense out on him. <clears throat> He's got Wilson on him. Olsen's going to set a pick on him, Harris Williams. He's at the head of the key. Now he's looking to do something to get in the paint. Over here in the right-hand corner, Carrington has trouble holding on to the ball. Goes out to Vining. Vining's going to have to launch one, and it's off the front of the rim. No good. It does hit the rim, and oh, we got somebody hurt. And we got Brooks. He's got a limp to his get-along there. That's Luca. He's going to have to run himself right off the floor over to the trainer's room. And we have a whistle, and they're going to hold things off here. Drykosa said, where'd he go? I got to get a. I got to get somebody in the, in the game for him. And he does. He's going to bring Romai, Romai up the, off the bench. Liam Romai. And with a minute seven to go, down seven, Rocky's got the ball. And they get the ball to Robinson. Robinson, he's going to hurry it in the front court. Time is not their friend. He goes right by Jake Olson. No, he doesn't. Jake touches him. Jake's going to get his fifth foul. Jake's day is done. 
Jake doesn't like the call. You don't want to argue too much. Now Wacky with a technical foul. That's the last thing you need. And Jake goes to the bench. Jake's played a fine ball game. And we have a one and one for the uh, Bears. Robinson shots up and it goes off the rim no good. Rebound comes out. Harris Williams got it. And the Argos are on the attack. Harris Williams on the dribble as we go in our minute. He's at the head of the key. Wilson playing good defense on him. And he's just going to back out and burn some clock. They're spreading things out. Got Harris Williams to the point. He's got Robinson on him. He almost travels. A little slip step inside. Beautiful move. What a great move by Harris Williams. <clears throat> and now it's a 95-86 lead. It's nine points. Robinson says, I'm going to put up a three. It's no good. Rebound comes off. Two Argos have it. And it's going to be a jump ball situation. Possession arrow stays with the Bears. 31 seconds to play. And the Argos suddenly have a nine-point lead. Baseline to throw it in. That's going to be Owens to Robinson. Robinson deep in the corner. Tries to take it inside. Good defense by Reed. He gets by him. Shots up. And it's no good. Reed fouls him, though. And he's going to go back to that free throw line. I'm sure Coach Isaacson's over there saying, don't foul, don't foul. And that's just the second foul on Reed. <clears throat> Kale Robinson back to that free throw line. This one's up, and that one's no good either. He was in the act of shooting. So it's a two-shot foul. He's got one more free throw coming. That one hurt. And that one's good. And now it's 95 to 87. Still eight-point lead in the full court pressure by the Bears. So they get the ball to Harris Williams, last person in the world you ever want to foul. And he's dribbling the ball out the head of the key up eight and it looks like maybe they're conceding this ball game. No, they're going to try to trap him. Get the ball to Vining. Vining over to Harris Williams. Now there's nine seconds. And this game is effectively older and the Argos are going to get a win. Fox running down on him. And there it is. We reached the end of the ball game. I look up there in that belt, Vedemont scoreboard, the hometown University of Providence Argos have 95. The Bears from Rocky Mountain College have eight.